One of my favorite stories is the story of Jane Goodall. When she was a little girl, her father gave her a toy chimpanzee. Jane loved chimpanzees, so let's go ahead and move to chimpanzee pose. We're going to start by standing up on our mat, and then just go ahead and took a little bend in your knee, forward fold. We're going to grab onto our toes. We're going to bend our knees, take two fingers and around those toes, yogi toe hold. And then just act as a chimpanzee. So we're gonna start to bring our elbows out to the sides of our body. Maybe if we can, we'll drop our head or neck, let it relax. Maybe start to straighten up the legs. If we don't get our legs straight today, that's okay. Just go to what feels comfortable for you. Breathe through it. Drop the head and neck, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. Pull those elbows out to the side with your exhale. Beautiful job, gently come down. She loved all animals, even caterpillars, but most of all, she loved chimpanzees. Right, as Jane saw lots of different animals and worms and different creatures on the ground, let's go ahead into our caterpillar pose, coming all the way down to our bellies. And as we roll down to our bellies, we may take our hands to the sides of us and then just gently exhale and lift up, stretch your back. Good, maybe inhale down. And then possibly exhale, lift as that caterpillar worm is inching through the ground. One more time, inhale down. And exhale, lift and lengthen the back. Good job. Jane's grandmother had chickens. She was so curious that she stayed to watch the chicken lay an egg. As Jane continued to grow, she loved to take care of the chickens. So let's walk into our chicken pose. We're gonna go ahead and put our feet both hip width apart on our mat. And start to sit down like we're sitting in a chair. And then our hands can start to come down towards the floor. So we wanna keep our feet on the floor and start to drop our hips down as far as we can. Maybe we can come all the way to the floor, just like a chicken would. Maybe press up and lift our hands to our heart center. Inhale and exhale. If you can't make it all the way down to the floor, you can put your blanket underneath or support you and come up a little bit higher. This is for, more comfortable for you. Let's do one more breath. Inhale and exhale. Great job. She discovered an egg, so let's roll like a ball like an egg would do and maybe sit down on our mats and go ahead and roll like a ball. Roll all the way down, Skylin. Feet come over and then lift back up. All the way up, good. Roll like a ball down and then lift up just like an egg would do. Use your abdominal muscles, do it again. Roll like a ball and then exhale, lift it up and hold it there. Great job. Jane loved nature. She would spend hours reading while sitting in a tree. We're gonna go into our tree pose. So let's anchor ourselves down on our mats. Firm your foundation, get lots of strong roots. You want a tree that's not gonna blow in the wind. So we're gonna go ahead and keep our one leg down, put the other leg over to the side, find your roots, push down through your hips, Shoulders down and back. Maybe your hands come to prayer. Or maybe today you want to extend your tree branches up high to the sky. You might feel the body wobble and shake a little bit. Maybe you want to bring your leg up higher on your leg. That's an option too. Or you could even choose to bring it all the way up into the thigh. But that's not totally necessary. So pick which version you like that can strongly support your tree as we move through the wind, breathe. And we always have to balance our bodies, so let's go ahead and release that down and do the other side. So find your root, find your firm foundation, bring that foot to the level that you would like on your tree branch, find it, root it down, root your hips down to the ground, shoulders down, lift your heart to the sky. And then hands can come to prayer, or maybe you wanna to choose to extend your branches today. What feels good for you today? Are you a strong tree that can hold from the wind? 
Sometimes we'll fall over a little bit, but that's okay. We can just try again. We get back up in the pose and we try again. Root our trees and breathe. So let's take two deep breaths here. Inhale, exhale. Maybe even close your eyes if you want. Inhale, exhale. It's a little harder when your eyes are closed, right? Yeah. Okay, bring your hands down to prayer pose. Good job. After reading the story, Dr. Doolittle, Jane promised she would go to Africa, building a bridge between humans and animals. Let's go to our mats now, onto the ground, and let's go into our bridge pose. We're gonna lay all the way down on the floor. We're gonna put our feet firmly on the mat, our hands to the sides of our bodies, and then we're gonna lift our hips up high to the sky like we're creating a bridge. Maybe a boat or something could go through those legs. We're gonna lift higher and higher, keeping our knees kind of closer together with our hips lifted high, breathe deeply. Exhale it out. Maybe lift a bit higher. We've got a big boat coming underneath that bridge. And exhale, lift it out. Good, gently and slowly start to drop the hips. Allow it to take time. And maybe bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a hug, good job. Gently and slowly start to rock yourself up to your mat. Jane had lots of pets and even raised money to help horses. Jane loved horses. We are doing so many animal poses today because Jane loved animals. So let's take our plank pose, and then we're gonna push our hips up to the sky and go into our horse pose. Here, this is our downward facing dog, but we're gonna use it like we're a horse. So let's lift the right leg up this time. Lift a leg up to the sky like you're kicking your back legs of the horse, and then exhale, release it down. Good, breathe and lift the other leg up this time, and then we'll lower it down to the floor. Let's do that one more time each side. Lift, breathe. Good, release. One more time, other side. Exhale. And inhale, bring it down. Beautiful job. Bring those knees to the ground. At 23 years old, Jane took a 21-day boat to Africa. Jane took a boat to Africa. So in our boat pose, we're gonna sit on our bottoms we're gonna lift, put our hands underneath our legs, support ourselves, lift with our chest to the sky, nice and tall. Maybe bring our legs up if we choose. Holding that, use your abdominals, your tummy muscles to hold the pose. If you want, you can try to take one hand away. Maybe even the other hand. See if you can hold yourself there, that strong boat. If you can't, just hold on to those. And if you wanna try even to take it away, you could even extend your legs long if you want to lift up to the sky and hold those legs. But today is not the day if you don't feel like you wanna do that, hold here. Or if you need to even hold behind here, you can hold your boat here. So let's breathe, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, lift your chest to the sky, lift those legs, exhale. Beautiful job. Gently come out. She knew this wasn't a dream anymore when a giraffe looked her in the eyes. And let's go up to mountain pose as we're holding our mountain in this giraffe pose. We might be like a tall, tall, tall giraffe roaming the desert of Africa that Jane might have saw. Open your palms, ground your feet down, root them, lift through your chest center, inhale fully. Close your eyes here, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Good job. Let's go ahead to the floor one more time. July 16, 1960. Jane made it to the home of the chimpanzees in Tanzania, Africa. Moving into our banana pose or our side plank pose. So extend your legs out long. Chimpanzees love to eat bananas. So we're gonna do a modified pose here first. I'm gonna show the modified. One leg down, one leg out. One hand right underneath your shoulder. The other hand stacks right on the side. 
Then we're gonna arch our arm up and over, kind of looking like that banana. Good, we can look down at your hand or you can look up at the top of your hand, but let's inhale and exhale. If you wanna go a little bit further in this pose, you can stack both feet together and lift the hips up even higher. Inhale, reaching your hand up and over like a banana. Good. Gently release, lower yourself to the floor, nice and slow. Excellent job. Jane realized the chimpanzees in her were more alike than different. She was their friend and they were hers. In this story, we find out that it is more valuable to find out what our similarities are than our differences. And sometimes when we're doing yoga, maybe if we're going in cat pose, we round our back up high to the sky, maybe Sky Lynn looks a little bit differently than I do in my cat pose. And that's okay. We can be different and we can look different, our bodies are different, but you know what? Our hearts are the same. And so that is what Jane Goodall was looking for, how to see more similarities than differences. Rounding our back up to the sky in cat pose and then looking forward for a glance into cat, cow pose. Love can build bridges when we care for other people, animals, and the nature around us. Our earth was meant to be shared. We need to do all we can to take good care of it. All right, let's finish off our class with our bridge pose again. As we come to the end of the story, they create a bridge with those chimpanzees. So lift those hips up high again to the sky. Lift, lift. And sometimes we may look different in our poses and that's okay. Skylin may be looking different in her bridge than I do. And you may be looking different than we do. But that's okay because we are who we are and we're exactly who we need to be. So lift a little bit higher, feel the breath with the holding of the pose. Make sure you're breathing and know that we can unite bridges one by one as we love all animals, people, and trees. So gently and slowly, let's lower down one at a time. Roll up to a seated position on your mat. Sit up nice and tall, take your shoulders down and back. And let's bring our hands up high to the sky. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come together into a prayer pose. Remembering that we are more alike than we are different. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.